I'm Erica, and this is David, and we are 30A Misfits, two transplant locals who love to adventure. Come explore with us. You call them my life, you break the line, I'm falling for you. You're stuck in my mind, just all the time, I'm falling for you. Today on 30A Misfits, we'll be exploring watercolor. Watercolor is a unique community in that it's nearly 500 acres wrap around some of the other communities on 30A. The main strip of shopping and attractions stretch along 30A between Grayton Beach and Seaside, but the rest of the community pushes to the north and then the east and runs behind Seaside and even stretches a bit behind Seagrove. Watercolor is owned by St. Joe Company, until 1966, the St. Joe Paper Company. It's a land development company headquartered eight and a half miles from Watercolor in Water Sound. St. Joe is Florida's largest private landowner. St. Joe opened Scratch Biscuit Kitchen in February of 2021, which will be our first stop of the day. We got a ridiculously good parking spot. You call them my life, you break the line. Scratch is known for their square biscuits, so they're not regular biscuits. Feel, just touch it. Okay. Right? Yeah. Feels dense. Feels good. It's good. All right. Well. It just fell apart, but that's kind of what you want from a biscuit, right? Biscuit donut with chocolate oh. gravy. Strawberry chocolate. Right? She was so many people out on the beach last night. The strawberry is really good. My mom used to make this all the time. That stuff. Chocolate gravy. And um, we've had it on a lot of stuff. But the strawberry, really, like it cuts it. It cuts and brightens it up. That little thing. It kind of reminds me of those. Um, do you remember the? Do you remember <laughs> the chocolate strawberry brownies? You're gonna want to see this dog. Did you see that puppy? Yeah. <laughs> Where? Wait. Cutest puppy of the day award. Oh, oh. Right? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Scratch Biscuit Kitchen was actually recommended to us by some locals at Tribe Kelly Surf Post in Grayton Beach. While all of watercolor is mostly geared towards tourists, I can definitely see myself coming back in the off season to try one of everything. Okay, so we finished our breakfast. It was delicious. The bike barn doesn't open until nine. So we are gonna walk to the beach while we have some time. Yeah. <laughs> go, mommy, go, mom. I really don't want to see you cry. And mommy, go, mom. I really want to brutalize, let him agonize, cause it's gonna be biting. This 
there's the public beach access we were just at. This boardwalk is pretty much the border, the dividing line between seaside and watercolor. So everything that way is watercolor. And everything that way is seaside. Bike shop rental. Here we go. Hi. Hi. We need to rent two bikes a day. We got this equipment. Would it be possible to hook up a baby carriage to the back of it or one of those things? Is that a tough trailer? to do? Oh, we have one. That one. Uh, there's a trailer hitch right there. Ah, yes, I see it. It's on see, there's also that one too. So if we, if we have, we'll have yeah. one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Any of these bikes are available. Okay. Good. So you just want to do it for the day? Yeah. Just. What's your name? I'm Callie. Cali? Yes. As in California? Yes, as in California. <laughs> okay. We're David and Erica. Nice and we, we're the 38 show. Misfits. It's just like a cool air. The Watercolor Bike Barn is located just next to the Watercolor Boathouse and has bikes of all sizes, bike trailers, and baby seats. The Bike Barn is a branch of La Dolce Vita Rentals. La Dolce Vita was founded in 2004 and headquartered in Destin, Florida. Card is weird. beautiful house here we just pulled off of this place and I just wanted to show how this probably originally was designed as a road to be between watercolor and seaside, watercolor and seaside. And they but they blocked it off and I don't know I'd have to look to see who's who but that's seaside on that side and it's watercolor on this side and that's the road in the, the, the trail in between. <laughs> it's so interesting. So we did Pizza by the Sea once because we weren't sure we were going to be able to do this all in one day. And when we went that time, we did a cheese pizza. As the great Dave Portnoy says, that's the best way to judge a pizza place. And we took it back to the house where we were house sitting. Boop. It's not doughy, it's chewy. It's gluten. Gluten! Mm -hmm. Gluten! Now that we're back, since we are doing it all in one day, we decided 
since we're on bikes, it'd be kind of a pain to carry the rest of the pizza around with us. So we took advantage of their lunch special, which is a slice and either pasta or a salad. And there's five or six different options for the slices, and it comes with a drink. And they have these nifty little punch cards. It's the best deal in town for lunch. And by this punch far. card, if you get eight of those lunch specials, the next one's free. That's pretty good if you come here a lot. Okay. So you got a pepperoni slice, and these are giant slices, so it's like a double slice. And it's like a, a fourth of a pizza. <laughs> right, and a big spaghetti and meatball. And I got the white veggie and I had no idea what I was ordering. I just asked if there were artichokes on it. She said, no, I said, give me that. It looks like tomato, spinach, mushroom, and feta. And I am down with that. And I also got a house salad. You're so good. <laughs> I'm a white pizza lover. Him not so much. He just really likes red sauce. It's not that he doesn't like white pizza. He just likes red sauce so much that it seems pointless. I like red sauce. Mm. How is it? It's so good. Mm. But, no. Uh, Pizza by the Seas is owned by uh, Jason and Christy Beer. Uh, they do global missionary work and they had recently sold their business in Indiana, wanted to move to the beach. Pizza by the Sea was for sale. So in 2011, they bought it. And the only one open at that time was this one that we just went to. So it's the original. Now there's four. At least. At least. Pizza by the Sea has four locations over 23 miles for a reason. Great pizza, fun atmosphere, friendly service, and fair prices make it a local favorite that tourists also love to come back to every year. Needless to say, Pizza by the Sea gets an easy, perfect score on the 30A Misfits Vibe Meter. Okay, off to the next one. Bye. That's it for this episode of 30A Misfits. Tune in next time for Watercolor Part 2. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Baby, do you look so pretty in your smile, my, 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 my.